Yeah, I mean, we had a couple unlucky plays, but the halftime adjustment was simple. I was just, things will come our way, and we're, we're right there. And, you know, as we saw starting out in the second half, we were right there, and, you know, we made big plays, and we executed well in the second half, which was great to see. All season, everyone has praised you for being so even keeled, but when you're back here and I the win streak, you know, the streak is right on the line, how hard is it for you to stay, you know, even here? Uh, the game, it actually wasn't that hard. But uh, it was awesome coming back here to SoCal and playing SC. Wow, a, a team that you grew up watching, and you know it was awesome to get the win. What went through your head when that uh, that long run, which really should have been a touchdown, when you hitting the pile and got called back? <sighs> Man, I was so. I'm gonna be honest. I was pretty tired after that one. <laughs> I saw the flag and I was like, oh man, I gotta jog all the way back there. But I don't know, it was awesome. I mean, I don't think it was a hold. Uh, but I mean, our offensive line played great all night, and it was great to see. Funny story, actually. I told Pat uh, this week that let's race. He was actually faster, and he actually said, uh, "No, I don't race with people who are sl who are less competition than me." So I was like, "All right, Pat." Yeah. I don't know about him. But. a lot um, you know last year after that UCLA game that was that was a really tough moment for us uh, you know I last year we, we really thought that that we really could have gone to a bowl game and and uh, just kind of that feeling of not going to a bowl game uh, at the end of the year was uh, was really tough and um, you know coming back into the into the team meeting room after that game uh, you know we, we had a real honest talk with with the coaches and coach Becton and you know just how hard we're gonna work and and we we did. I mean, we, we really put in the work this off season, and and uh, you know it was it was all about accountability. And you know, physically, we're good. We're we're good enough. We're we're there. Um, it was just mentally and and just obviously you know the, the accountability part. Um, and uh, feels great. I mean, I was I, I was lucky enough to to go to a freshman year, and uh, I was a redshirt, so I didn't I didn't get to play in that game. I just kind of got to sit in the sidelines and. Uh, take it all in, but uh, you know, so actually being a part of a bowl team and and actually making an impact for it uh, just really feels great. You guys on the defensive side of the ball, does it make you feel extra good winning games where the you're the point total under twenty for each team? Um, it does. Um, under under twenty is a little too high for me. Uh, you know, that fourteen points was way too much for us. That was that was a pretty poor first half, but. Um, you know, I, I think the the good thing about our defense and, and our, our team as a whole is I think we're real resilient and and uh, you know we, we really came out the second half with with a lot more energy and a lot more focus and and took it to them. Chase, this defense has helped keep you guys in a lot of games as you get down to the wire. What what has their performance been to you? Oh, it means everything. Uh, we love our defense, <laughs> obviously, and I mean they play great. I mean. What Coach Wilcox put together on the defensive side is amazing to see. And I mean, the whole second half, we held him to zero points and had a bunch of turnovers, which is, I mean, electric as an offense because it really gets that rhythm going. And I mean, it's great to see. I mean, I love watching our defense play. It's, it's awesome. Yes, you're one of the many SoCal boys on this team. Is win over USC and doing it in their house. Is it a little extra special for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it definitely means a lot to us SoCal kids. But, I mean, it's just another game on our schedule, to be honest. And, I mean, coming back to SC, I mean, the seniors have never beat them. Our Cal hasn't beat them in 13 years. So it was obviously a good one for us. Luke, you played a lot of ball. Have you ever been part of a 22-yard safety ball? I have not. That was the first safety I've ever been a part of, actually. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was a pretty fun one. How did that play out for you? What do you, what do you see when you see the snap go I uh, just saw the quarterback jump really high and saw the ball rolling and <laughs> tried to go down there and, and I tried to hit, I think it was the, the running back that, that kind of tried to uh, scoop it up and then we, we kind of, I think I'd already got knocked out but I just kind of hit him anyway. But, uh, you know, inflict pain and punishment every play. It's kind of <laughs> the motto. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 
it felt great, you know, finally being able to do the little sack <laughs> sack dance, but the safety dance, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a fun play. Chase, Pat seems kind of like Mr. Reliable for you guys. What's it like just having him there? You know, you can, you can hand the ball off and he's going to make something up. Yeah, Pat Laird is something special, uh, especially being a young quarterback. Having a veteran running back like Pat, who's smart and also a good player, is definitely helpful. And it makes us, as an offense, feel a lot better. Anything else, guys? Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.